Peace and love, collective. Peace and love. This is Ratchet Oracle 22. Welcome to my channel. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell to be notified when the readings are posted. This is going to be our message for today, May 25th, 2023. We are starting off with the star card, okay? Aquarius type energy. So if you are in Aquarius, this reading may resonate with you. Um, collective, I feel like you are growing. I feel like you are maturing. I feel like you are going through an awakening process, okay? With the Aquarius energy of this card, I feel like you have detached from the old version of yourself. That old avatar um, is no longer relevant to your new life. So I feel like the old you, the version of you that many people may know, that version of you no longer exists, okay? And I feel like you have grown so much, you have matured so much, and I feel like people may expect you to still operate out of your past nature, but I do feel like you glue up, okay? The glow up happened. Um, I feel like you are realizing that you are the main character of your own show. I feel like you are realizing that you are the one that gets to write the script. You are the one that gets to create your reality. And the more you realize that, the more you are coming to believe that wholeheartedly. And the more you are being intentional and deliberate with what you choose to say, do, and the intentions that you choose to have in this lifetime, you've definitely detached from something or someone. I feel like you could also be healing or at the end of your healing journey, I feel like you could also be exposing yourself to some unwanted truths. And what I'm getting when I say unwanted truths is some illusions, okay? Some uh, some things that used to be illusions, some things that you did not want to face in the past, some truth that you kind of ran from before, but now you've grown and you matured. And I feel like you are now willing to face what you would not face before. And it may sting a little bit, but you're a lot stronger now. Um, you can handle a lot much more than you were able to handle before, okay? And you see the the breast exposed here. I feel like this is the heart chakra. Your heart is going through a cleansing process. You're not angry anymore. You're not revengeful anymore. You're not resentful anymore. You're no longer trying to bend life to your own personal will. I feel like you're kind of just in this energy of just simply accepting things as they are and learning your lesson that comes with that and finding your peace in the midst of your current situation collective. Heavy on the Aquarius energy. Yeah, confirmation with the Wheel of Fortune. The first two cards out are major arcana cards. This is a major transformation for you collective. This is a major cycle that is transforming in your life, okay? This is a major death and rebirth. And with the Wheel of Fortune card here, I feel like it's all, everything that you've had to go through was leading you up to this moment, okay? This moment of rebirth, this moment of transformation, this moment of the old you dying off so that this new version of you, this new version that you were always meant to be can finally live, Okay, I feel like this is the peaceful version of you. This is the loving and genuine version of you, okay? This is the healed version of you. And it's all fate, everything that had to happen. And I feel like you are understanding that. And that is why you are finding your peace with whatever is happening in your life, even if it's different from what you expected. You are understanding fate and you are believing in fate a lot more. So it's like you are learning the serenity, accepting the things that you can't change, changing the things that you can and knowing the difference between the two. OK, but I do feel like there's a lot of luck on your side when it comes to 
creating and manifesting the life that you want when it comes to your future life experiences because you've grown up and you have reached a new level in your life, okay? Confirmation, the seven of swords. You have definitely gone, gone through an ascension, okay? Heavy on the Aquarius, the seven of swords is an Aquarius card too. So someone could be an Aquarius sun, moon, Venus, or a rising, especially an Aquarius sun or moon, okay? And I feel like Aquarius rules innovation. So collective, I feel like you have gone through a lot. Um, I definitely feel like you were not perfect at all. I feel like you hurt some people. And I feel like you also got hurt. Now, in which order, I don't know. But I feel like, you know, the playing field was evened out. And I feel like in the process of you going through that hurt and that pain and having to learn to transmute that energy, I feel like you found a way to reinvent yourself and then a new version of yourself. Yes, collective, the world card, three out of four cards is major arcana. Again, major transformation. Um, but something is over. A cycle of, of roughness is over, okay? You're in an independent phase in your life right now. You're focused on how to provide yourself with your daily needs and not just financial needs, but your emotional needs, your mental needs, okay? You are really focused on finding emotional security within yourself. I feel like for so long, you may have depended on other people to provide you with that sense of happiness or that sense of self-worth or that sense of value. And I feel like now you've kind of learned your lessons that it starts with you, okay? You have to see it within yourself and then other people can see it in you. Seven of Pentacles, you have double seven showing up here, okay? May 7th is going, not May 7th, April, oh, Jesus. Um, June 7th is going to be very significant. It's also seven minutes on the clock right now. So seven is the number of luck. But seven is also the number of spiritual injury, okay? So I feel like that's just confirmation that you went through a huge spiritual awakening, but it hurt you, but you learned a lot of lessons, okay? And now you're a lot more committed to yourself. With this being a Taurus card, you are a lot more committed to finding your stability and your security and building a solid foundation for yourself. The things that you used to depend on other people for, you are now depending on yourself for that, okay? You have reinvented yourself you have created a new life for yourself a life that is a lot more structured a lot that a life that is a lot more balanced a lot a life that is a lot more secure okay <clears throat> excuse me so people don't recognize you anymore you've changed collective you don't you may not even recognize yourself okay the queen of cups in reverse all right I feel like the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone not willing to honor their emotions, okay? Someone not willing to face the truth about what they feel. And I don't feel like this is you, Collective, because all of the other cards were about you growing up and maturing. So this could be someone that you are involved with, especially if this person is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? And I feel like someone has feelings that they're not ready to face someone has emotions that they're not ready to face the knight of swords in reverse okay so this could be a water sign or a air sign okay yeah someone feels like they're missing out on something or they're missing someone okay someone feels like there is a void and I feel like someone is trying to fill that void with other things, okay? Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? Someone's not listening to their heart is what I'm getting here. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is grieving a loss or the loss of something, okay? So on one end, collective, I feel like you are doing very well. All the cards in the beginning of the reading are about you. You've grown and you matured. Um, I feel like whoever is on your mind, this person has a lot of emotions about your relationship and how things played out. 
but they're distracting themselves. They're ignoring their feelings, um, whether they're good or bad feelings. They just don't want to feel them at all. And I feel like you, on the other hand, have chosen to heal. Bottom of the deck is the magician card, okay? So now you're busy focused on manifesting the life that you want. Peace.